What are you doing? Seriously? Go get some work done. Cut the hole. What are you doing? You don't want to lift it up. You don't. I'm trying to put it in, but usually you lift this thing up here and then you can stick it in. <laughs> What's the black pipes, Bunny? What black pipes? What pipe? are the black pipes here? What black pipe? These. This is our hot and cold line. You look in that little corner right there, you can see it. Okay, how do we know which one is which? Well, the hot is red and cold is blue. But they're gray. Okay, that's because they have insulation on them. it like this and then we'll raise it up. Uh-huh. Yeah, once I get everything together we'll raise it. Phew, that stuff smells. Didn't you just do that stuff? That's the primer. I thought one was blue. I'm not using that stuff. It's kind of caking up a little bit. Oh, wait, honey, you should use the blue. It's part of it. No, the blue is the glue. Yeah, you don't need the glue? This is the glue. The blue... You said the blue is the glue. No, the blue is a glue. It's it's for water purposes. This, there's no water here, so. Oh, it's drying really quick. Yeah. Okay. So that's not like a glue? Huh? Is this like a glue? Yeah, it's a PVC glue. What are you doing? Seriously. What? Are, what? You're like a little roly poly. What, man? I'm trying to do some work. Uh. Wait. <laughs> okay, so here we have some tiny house plumbing. Okay, so that far corner over there is going to be the urine diverter for the compost toilet. This closest one right here is going to be for the vanity. That one in the back is your shower. And then it all runs down in here right under the sink where it will come out to the side in the gray water system. Not too shabby. Now we just got to get it off the ground. Okay, we got it off the ground. There is some tiny house plumbing.
here right now, she would ask if we could put a window there. Okay, so now this bad boy is just going to pop right through. And let's see how well it fits. Tiny house hot water heater. This is going to be the hole for our uh, water inlet box. This little guy right here. So this is going to be our gravity fed water. This is going to go to our fresh water tank. And then this is just going to be a vent port for the tank. So it's all set up right there. And I'll go put it in. Alright, so that's where our fresh water is going to come in at. And I will pipe that in. And then I saw a video online where a guy made these manifolds um, for the water. And you know, you've got one as your inlet. And then these will feed the three water sources that we have. Um, and he was just kind of explaining how the square pressure, you don't lose pressure from one side to the next if it's like, if it was just a direct feed, um, that supposedly helps with pressure. So we'll see. Got one for hot, got one for cold. For our water coming in. That's, the, that's what is that? Our shut off valve for our water coming in. See if you're on and off there. On and off, okay. Yeah. This is going to run to the freshwater pump. This one is going to hook to that line that's going to go through this wall. Uh -huh. This one's going to go up to the sink, and that one right there is going to go down to the hot water heater. And once we have more wood in there, I can secure it to everything. Tiny house plumbing, bitches. <laughs> Looks good, honey. Our shower is going to rest on this piece of wood, right? Yep. And this is hot and cold. Hot and cold. Here's our faucet. Wicka wicka. Wicka wicka wicka. That's the shower head. Alright honey, 